losing okay and being okay with it. I'm root. Yeah, I'm not pseudo, I'm root. And I don't ask twice, it's mine, you can get me the sandwich. And sometimes I care a lot, even too much. If you've seen this XKCD hostage situation, it's not the terrorist that's the problem, it's the sysadmin, because you know he cares about uptime. But a lot of times, I fail. I don't scale, I can't see everything, I can't see the dev who pushed code at 2 a.m. And that leads to loss of hair, gas, and ingestion of large quantities of caffeine, weight gain, loss, sometimes at the same time, consuming more alcoholic beverages than is strictly recommended, and marital problems. And to top it all off, I have developers. Well, it worked fine in dev. And so everyone feels like this about me. Do not meddle in the affairs of sysadmins. They are quick to anger and have no need for subtlety. And now what? You know, where do we go? I hate everyone. The devs hate me, and there are no campfires and certainly no kumbaya. So inner devs ops, what is this, buzzword hell? Or is this something we can actually use to help us get us out of this mess we've gotten into? Because... 15 seconds about riding in a peloton, bikers pull together. They pull each other along to go, you know, they trade the lead, they change positions, and everyone conserves enough energy to get to the finish line. One more bike analogy. This is ups when we fail, because when one fails, we all fail. Sit, keeping the side up, if it's, you know, it has to be up. And the developer change, they don't get paid if they don't do their job. So when one fails, we all fail. So. Keep calm. Make a deal with the devil. We can help one another achieve our goals. It turns out they're the same goals. So I can build tools, configuration, management, scripting, online integration, systems, uptime, IF config. These are the things that I live and breathe daily. And it's OK. Code is the new infrastructure. That's nothing new to you and to developers. We can work together. And I haven't failed. I just found a hundred, a thousand ways that don't work. Failure happens. Downtime happens. All code is not backwards compatible. So the first step is making sure we're all comfortable getting back to where we were. When we started this mess, do we have a recovery plan? Do we have testing that includes QA, writing unit tests, rolling back tests? Hey, do we even have a stage? We have to be candid about the problems and willing to address them without blame. Oil the wheel, make things better. And at the end of the day, if we do these things, anyone can push the big red button or Slack command or merge. And that's it. Thanks.